Okay, hey, this is going to be Show Me Thy Glory Part 2. i got to be really quick. i got a Bible up here in front of you on the screen. You can see me over to the left. i got less than five minutes or it won't let me stop and save it. So, here we go. Turn with me. And here are the scriptures in front of you. I try to blow them up where we can see them. Turn to Exodus chapter 34, verse 1. Right up to our next chapter is what we just finished. And the Lord said unto Moses, You the two tablets of stone like unto the first. And I will write upon these tablets the words that were in the first tablets which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Neither let the flocks nor the herds feed before the mount. You better keep them back. And he hewed two tables of stone, like unto the first, and Moses rose up early in the morning. Now, the Lord created the first two. Now, Moses is making his own stone of tablet, but yet the Lord's going to write on them and redo it. Because they're broken. He has to have something in the flesh to show the people it came from the Lord, and not him up there chiseling the commands, the Ten Commandments. And went up unto the Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. And the Lord descended in a cloud. Here we come. Here we go. And stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. We got the Lord descending right there with Moses, and he's proclaiming the name of the Lord. The Lord proclaiming the name of his father, the great I am. Go and tell him that, Moses. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, look at here, and the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God. We've got the Lord appearing unto him, passing by him, proclaiming the Lord, the Lord God. He's proclaiming his Father, merciful and grace, gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, for iniquity, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. It took all those generations for things to finally open up and let them go in and, do, and, and go through. And Moses made haste and bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us from th for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I will make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvelous, marvelous, such as has not been done in all of the earth, nor in any nation. And all of the people among which thou art shall see the, the, the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe that thou which I have commanded thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Persite, the Hivite, and the Jubasite. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break down their images, and cut down their groves. Watch verse 14, people. Come on now, can you not hear the voice of the Son of Man? For thou shalt worship no other God. Here we have the Lord speaking that's appeared there with Moses. He says, For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. We've got the Lord speaking unto Moses, the Son of Man, and he's telling you that his God is, my Father and your Father, my God and my God, I go unto my God and your God. Aha, he's telling you about his Father is a jealous God. We have the Lord. My Lord said unto my Lord, Least thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a-whoring after their gods, and do sacrifices unto their gods. And one called thee, and thou eat the sacrifice, and that thou take the daughters and thy sons and thy daughters a-whoring after their gods. And to make thy sons go whoring after their gods, thou shalt make no molten gods. We're going to bring it right there. 
and I'll bring another one to, with the rest of this chapter and show you that it's clearly the Son of Man speaking there with Moses many, many times. There was times that the Father was speaking from heaven unto Moses. But now we have the Son of Man. And the Son of Man is clearly telling everybody right here. Because the Lord is speaking. Which Lord? The Son of Man is speaking there with Moses and making appearance unto Moses. Thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, he's talking about the great I am, his Father, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. We have the Lord, the Son of Man, speaking unto Moses, telling you about his Father. And he will be the one to go before his face, even though he couldn't see at all times the Son of Man. May you be blessed and stay tuned. Amen.